Iga Swiatek versus Alina Rabakina. It's the third quarterfinal for the Ladies Rome Open for 2023. Both players have been very impressive to get to the quarterfinal. Rabakina started the tournament off as a number seven seed, and we get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she take on Paolini, and after a close first set, we get through in straights, seven six six one. In the third round, she take on Kalin Skaya, who had taken her out in Madrid only a couple of weeks ago, but unfortunately, Kalin Skaya got injured and was unable to finish the match. With Rabakina leading four three retirement. In the fourth round, she take on Von Drusova, who had taken out Zachary in the previous round. And this was so far Rabakina's best performance, getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-3, to get to the quarterfinals. Fiontech started the tournament off as the number one seed, would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Pavlyuchenkova, and this was an absolute clinic for Fiontech, getting through in straight sets, 6-love, six 6-love. Love, six love. In the third round, she'd take on Sharenko, and again, Fiontech would put a beating on her, only dropping two games, 6-2, six 6-love, six coming back from 2-love down in that first set. In the fourth round, she'd take on the 21st seed, Vekic, who she'd played a three-set match against last year in San Diego, but this time it was all Sviantek getting through in straight sets, 6-3, 6-4 to advance to the quarterfinals. These two ladies have played three times before with the head-to-head -head in favor of Rabakina, 2-1. But this will be the first time that they've played on a clay court. If Rabakina's going to win this one, she needs to play aggressive like she did in her last match. Her previous match, she was playing so well against Vondrusova, who is known as a clay court player. So she needs to be aggressive, hit the ball flat, and go for her shots against Sviantek. Sviantek's going to win this one. She needs to try and stand up on the baseline, try not to get bullied by Rabakina. The last two times they played, the Australian Open at the start of the year in Indian Wells in March, she's been kind of pushed around and Rabakina has been able to do what she wants. So she wants to kind of step up and try and push Rabakina around a little bit, knowing that it's on her surface clay court. This is going to be such a fun match. We love to see these two play. And this time we're actually seeing it on Sviantek's preferred surface. And I think that's going to make the difference. I reckon Sviantek's going to win this one. Maybe three sets, maybe a close straight sets, but I feel like Sviantek on clay right now, especially in Rome, is unstoppable. I think she's going to finally get that win over Rabakina this year. But let me know down in the comments below who's going to win this one.